Today we're going to be talking about guide grids. When we're setting up our sheets, it's important to have a frame of reference so we can place all of our views in the exact same location on different sheets. To show you what I mean, let's go ahead and go to our project browser, and go to our level one sheet. I'm going to use what's called guide grids here. So from my view tab, I'm going to go to guide grid. Now I have the option to choose existing or to create a new. I'm going to go ahead and create new and just call it plan views. Hit OK to say I'm done. Now whenever we create guide grids, it by default covers your entire sheet like this. And I really don't need this much information, so I'm going to resize it by clicking and dragging on the blue grips. You'll also notice from our properties palette, we can change the guide spacing. Currently it's set at one inch. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to two. Now all I really want is one point of intersection here. So I'm gonna resize this, shrink this up a little bit more. You'll see why in just a moment. All right, so there we go. So you have the option to move this by just select hit MV for move, but as you'll notice, it only allows me to se select the grid lines itself. I'll just move it over just a touch. Actually, I liked it be better where it was. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my first floor plan. Just click and drag. And we'll just place it about there. Now, I want to snap the plan view to the guide grid. So if I just select this, MV for move, you'll see that it only allows me to snap on datum elements and not on any of the geometry itself. So I'll just go ahead and grab my number two grid line. And I'm going to move it to the intersection, SI for intersection or guide grid right there. That looks pretty good. Just hit escape to deselect. Now let's go to our level two sheet. So right now, we don't have our guide grids visible. But if we go over to our properties palette, scroll all the way to the bottom, guide grid, click this, choose plan views apply and you'll see that it pops up in the same exact location so I'm going to go ahead and bring in my second floor plan place it about there select MV for move grab that same endpoint of the same grid snap to the same intersection Let's go ahead and do this one more time for a roof. Properties palette, guide grids, plan views, apply. And I'll go ahead and grab my roof and bring it in. Place it. And B for move. Endpoint of our number two grid. SI for intersection of our grid. Our guide grid, sorry. There we have it. Now all of our sheets are aligned in the same location. This has been CAD Teacher VDCI Tips and Tricks for Revit. Thanks for watching.